My name is Crystal. I own a luxury travel agency called Wanderlust Jet Setter, and after spending five years living in the Caribbean island of Aruba, my husband and I relocated to Miami. We love spending time with our dogs, but we spend a lot of our time traveling the world. Follow along my entrepreneurial journey for luxe travel content and more. This life I built at one time was just a dream, but welcome to my reality. Hey guys, I've been saying I'm going to do a Miami apartment tour. We're going to start at the best place, which is our balcony. It's a little disheveled right now because Tropical Storm is out in the Gulf creating a ton of wind. So like these plants I had to shove in the corner. The um, cushions we had to take away. But look at this view. The sunrise is right there every morning. That's South Beach, Miami Beach, Fisher Island, one of the most expensive zip codes in the United States, maybe even in the world. My dogs love it. Balcony's pretty big. Um, this is their grass patch. We actually get sod delivered like on a weekly basis. This is obviously, it dies very fast as you can see. So this is old, um, waiting for new one to come in. But they use this because we go on two one mile walks a day, morning and evening. And other than that, they're trained to go out here and then we roll it up, throw it out and then get new grass in. So super convenient. Um, this, these plants are gonna grow really big and they're gonna flower and have a really nice scent to them. So the idea is to kind of like section off that potty section. You could see how big the balcony is with a little rustle on it. It's about 140 square feet, which is a really nice size balcony. Um, in general, our apartment is considered pretty big for Miami being right in the city. Um, over there, I have a lemon tree and a peach tree. And then, like I said, this little sitting area, we have our binoculars because we can often see manatees out here. You can even see dolphins. It's really cool. It's a great view. Um, we just, we really love it. Hey, Russell. Okay, so right when we walk in, we immediately have our little office area. Um, I keep this black wallpaper up. It's not all wallpaper is created equal. We've learned the lighting is trash, but you could see sort of the lines when this is off, it looks a lot better. And we actually work a lot with the light off. But yeah, these are two standing desks. Um, obviously, we put them closer together, together to leave more room, you know, for our chairs, but we can take them apart if one of us wants to stand. They're motorized, really cool. Here's my side. This is a money tree. Looking good. It's been a good year. And bikes. And then just this little entryway. Okay, moving on. And in here we have our living room. Don't mind this right now. Those cushions belong there. But as you can see from this plant, it's very windy. Um, Tropical Storm Debbie is out, um, I guess, in the Gulf, which is nowhere near us, but we're getting the winds from it. So we went with this white couch. I absolutely love it. Our dogs have white fur, so it made sense for us to do that. Um, it does get a little dirty, but nothing crazy. But this is a fig tree. All of my plants in the house are real. I don't do fake plants. I believe they bring bad luck and no money. Look it up. Um, everything you see here as far as wallpaper installation and assembly, Mike has done. He did open a company called Myandy. Um, it stands for M-I-A Handyman. He is doing like this type of stuff. So fixing things, installing wallpaper, assembling furniture. A lot of people around here have too little time and too much money. So they pay people to just come in and do this. So, and then if you look over here, you can see kind of this view again, ignore, uh, but they were literally flying away. And this doesn't look all that like, oh yeah, I guess it does look good. Usually this water is very blue. Again, the like, clouds and everything is just a little off today, but usually the water is like super blue. We can actually open these fully. So it's like an indoor outdoor feel. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, I love this wallpaper. It gives Miami for sure. I definitely wanted a lot of color in this apartment. All of the walls were white. Um, the kitchen cabinets are white. Everything was white. So I was like, we need to do pops of color in here. So even the table goes with the wallpaper. This is just a half bath, but look at this wallpaper. I love it. I want to say one of my favorites, but 
I like all of them, honestly. Over here is our kitchen. I love these velvet chairs. You're gonna see a lot of velvet um, throughout this apartment. We also did some mixed metals. So we have some gold throughout the kitchen, but then of course, the stainless steel. Tried that vibe, not sure how I feel about it. To be honest, if I could build a kitchen from scratch, it wouldn't be these materials anyway, but I mean, it definitely does its part. We have this kind of empty, weird space right here. We've been trying to figure out what to do. That's an olive tree, by the way, I love it. Um, can definitely like hang a picture or something. We don't have a dining room table. Don't really feel the need for it. It's just the two of us. And if there's other people here, we do have common spaces we can go and eat and stuff like that if we really wanted to. So yeah, some people I think in this building put like a table here. I don't really feel like we need that. Plus it'll kind of stick out a little awkwardly. Someone said like a bookshelf. I mean, I do read a lot, but I usually like donate the books after. So I'm like, I don't have enough books to like fill a bookshelf. Mike said maybe a stool. I just want something like if I'm gonna put something there, I want it to be functional or something very pretty, like a piece of artwork. I'm not sure, we'll figure that out. But yeah, these flowers Mike got me earlier this week on their last leg, <laughs> but really pretty. Okay, this section is my favorite in the apartment. This is a robot vacuum. That's actually another vacuum on top of it, but this white thing is a robot vacuum. I send it out every single day. It does such a good job, cleans all of my floors. Again, a little bare here, could hang something there. We'll work on it. This is my espresso machine that I use every single day. So this section has the makings for espresso and espresso martinis. That's all because that's all we drink. There's also some happy dads in there. Um, to be honest, we barely drink at home, so it's more like if we have people visiting, which we have a handful so far. This is the Breville, I forget the model. I can put a link in the description, but I looked up a ton of them. Um, really like it. Only thing I noticed is like this gets clogged like once a month and you have to like take the part and clean it, but we do use this multiple times a day. So it's not meant for like commercial use. So probably that's normal after that many times. Um, and then, yeah, we have the Kahlua, the Tito's. I literally use Starbucks cups every day. I use Starbucks beans. We have the Starbucks. I love Starbucks if you can't tell. The Starbucks syrups, I barely use these. I probably use them like twice since we moved here. Mike definitely uses these a lot more. My favorite is toffee nut, his is hazelnut, um, but he kind of dabbles in both um, Kahlua and simple syrup for these espresso martinis. Yeah, this is like a really cool little section over here uh, with my two favorite things, my robot vacuum and my espresso machine. Okay, and this is our bedroom. Also has this ocean view. There's matcha, which is so nice. So it leads onto the same balcony um, off of the living room that has its own door. We have TV mounted by my Andy with the hidden cables. This mirror, my dog's toys and blanket. They literally need to sleep under this blanket every night. They are spoiled. And under here, this is all storage. So it's really useful. And let me know what you guys think about the wallpaper, you know, the bed and this color kind of all work together. I think it looks really good. Mike also installed this wallpaper, assembled, assembled, everything, everything in here he's done. Okay, this just off the bedroom was just empty, empty room, meant to be a closet, obviously. Mike installed all of this. Again, Miami, based out of Miami, if you're in the Miami area, he can, what is going on here, install anything like this so apologies if it's a little chaotic but how cool is this this is a way to optimize space we have our suitcases kind of hidden over here this is our laundry basket so we actually have built in laundry baskets that's whites that's colors shoe rack his side how cool is this ties belts jewelry obviously drawers and we each got to design our own side. So I knew I had longer dresses, so I wanted like a longer area and I have less folded things. Um, I put shoes down here. I also have like a little shoe rack here. It's a little chaotic guys, you know, I'm not gonna lie. These are all my professional work type outfits. Um, this is my little section. So here's like my jewelry section, um, not very big. This is Matcha's bow. 
Yeah, I think I need more jewelry. Um, this is my travel makeup bag. It's really nice. Mike installed the whole thing. So anyone interested in a closet build out, it was pretty affordable compared to some of these larger closet companies that come out and would probably charge five plus thousand dollars for this build. Um, something like this, Mike, I think would charge around 750 to a thousand. It depends, but that doesn't include material though. Leading just outside of the closet is a full bath. So double sink, we have laundry there. Launch is actually going right now and shower. So yeah, guys, that wraps up our little Miami apartment tour. Say bye.